All right, I just uh, just had my first Zoom meeting online with uh, some of the kids that I've had in camp before, and we played some simple putting games. These are legacy games, and if you don't know what a legacy game is, a legacy game is a game that we're going to be able to continue to play, uh, keep track of it to track our progress, much like golf. We keep score every time and we use that score to track our progress. So what we did today is we played three different games. Uh, we had two rounds of each. Uh, the first game was called Pile Up, and the goal of the game is to take our 10 golf balls that we have. You can't see them. They're a little lower in the screen. The camera's not picking it up and put them down into that three by three box. And the goal is to get as many into the box as possible without hitting another ball. So as long as I don't hit another ball, I'm gonna put all 10. Once I hit another ball, the round is over. I'm going to count how many I've got in the box before I hit the other ball. So I'm gonna run some putts down there. We're gonna see how I do. So I'm going to come up with a, with a strat of trying to get the balls towards the back of the square, right off the bat. You can see there was a little bit of curve, a little bit of break in my putting mat here. So far so good. So I'm halfway there. Try and get one into that back right side of the square. Ooh, that's a really good one. I'm in good shape. I might get all 10. I probably just jinx myself. Ooh, that's another good one. That was a little too close, though. Snuck it in there. Oh, I don't know if it's on the tape or not. I'm gonna say it's short. So I got nine. Pretty good. First, first try. Um, now, you can do this one of two ways. So we, we could play two rounds. We could play two separate games at the same time. And the second part, uh, we call dungeon. So I'm going to take my head cover. I'm going to place it where I was putting from. I'm going to put something. So for me, I've got about four inches on the other side of the head cover before the ball would roll out onto my kitchen floor. And the goal is going to be, you can do it one of two ways. You can have the person place all the balls around the square, or you can just use the balls that you've um, put it into the square. Now, again, the name of the game is called Dungeon. I have to put all the balls while standing inside the square. I can't leave the square, rolling them down to my head cover, trying to hit the head cover as many times as I can. If the ball goes off the, off the mat for me, uh, the round's over. Uh, if I hit another ball, the round is over. Uh, so at, at one point, if I had maybe four balls uh, in, touching the head cover, or hitting the head cover, and knew that I couldn't do any better, I might end the round at that point. So I'm going to start hitting these. So I'm going to use some different stances, maybe some really different putting strokes. All right, I got one. That one hit it. That one was short. And I was not paying attention and stepped out of the square. So the round would be over. I had one. That was not very good. But being honest, again, I wasn't thinking about what I was doing. Uh, I stepped out of the square. All right. So now that brings us to the last uh, game that we played today. And we called, we called this one Gates. So I'm going to take, 
take all my golf balls. I'm going to take seven of them, and I am going to put them down in front of the box, trying to space them out to create gates. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. And as we're playing these games, the games get harder. So I'm putting it down. All right. One. Probably should put it a little further, but two. Three. It's not going to be a very good gate. Four. And I can't go outside the margins of the box either. So now, that's five. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the other two. Now you're thinking, well, maybe he's not really going to have a chance to use these as gates. I am. And here's how. I'm going to put this last one. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. I get to pick up two. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So now I've got five balls out there creating four gates. So now my challenge is to put the balls, put the last five balls that I have through those gates, okay? And I can do it one of two ways. I can try and hit it through each one of the gates, okay? If I do that, I would have a bonus set up of, let's say, 10. Um, or if I did not do very well with my gates, I might just try to send it through one gate with all of the balls, okay? Now, knowing me, I'm going to try and maybe send it through all of them. Again, if I touch a ball, any ball, the round is over. I don't really like that, so I may just keep hammering it. Now I've got to be careful because that's pretty good. I can't hit the balls in the boxes either. And I hit one of the gates. So I got three in the I got three into uh, the box before I hit another ball. So these 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 games are some simple games that we come up with on a weekly basis. Again, to give your junior golfer or any golfer, as far as that goes, a chance uh, to get some work in while they're at home. You can do it on carpet. Uh, you can do it on a putting mat if you have a putting mat. Uh, but just a way to get some practice in. I've got mine set up. It's nine feet down to the front of that square. We want to typically have at least 10 feet. I should have used my other mat, um, but I had this box for, for a different game that we were playing. Um, and you can set it up as far as you want. Obviously, the further away that we're putting from, the harder the challenge becomes. So uh, think of setting up some games like this to make, uh, make life at home a little less boring. And as always, if you have a question, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or a text. Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all real soon.